Hi, I'm John Henry, and this is my garden. So today I wanted to talk about soil, the soil that you want to put into your garden. Now over here, this is ordinary clay soil out of the yard, and it clumps up pretty badly. It's uh, not going to grow much because it's hard to penetrate for the roots. Now this is sand from the, the, stream, the stream bed out back, and this has got no uh, nutrition. It can't hold water. The water runs right through. This is organic compost, and it's going to make either one of these a lot better. And over here, we have composted cow manure. That is the nutrition, aside from this, this is also the nutrition that goes in to help the soil. And this is peat moss. Peat moss has fallen out of favor lately because uh, it's not a renewable resource. I bought this a few years ago and I have to use it up before I move over to coconut coir, which I'm going to do. Uh, now, none of these things is gonna grow very much by themselves. Maybe the compost would, but if you mix them all together, Really mix them thoroughly and then put this into a container or into a garden bed. Now you'll be able to grow almost anything. And I just wanted to show you that my own garden soil is rich, dark, freeable. Like I mixed all those things together, but then the heavy lifting was done by earthworms. But anyway, next time I want to talk about uh, how we can grow nice tomatoes in fairly small containers and I'll show you with putting the soil together and and maybe even a bag soil that uh, you can get from the big box until next time